This is the set of a Stephen King horror series, but technicians say working here isn't scary at all. Oh my God, I totally feel safe. I mean, Patrick I'm Doyle really says since the show got up and running seven weeks ago, he's been tested for COVID 17 times. He says strict measures combined with few cases make production possible. We are currently the safest place, I would say, certainly in Canada, if not the world, to be trying to do something like this. The whole Atlantic region. And others are taking notice. We're seeing, you know, a huge uptake in interest from, uh, from uh, below the border. Screen Nova Scotia says it expects that interest to translate into actual projects. For the most part, um, we don't see our, uh, our production season extend well into the, into the winter. And this year I expect that we will. And I also expect that we'll see a full season beginning early next year as well. Action! People who work in the industry say the Atlantic bubble, which allows travel freely within the region but requires anyone coming from outside to isolate, does make things more costly for film studios. They have to pay actors to sit in hotel rooms for two weeks. And in this case, they've also hired extra people for COVID control. We remind people if they have their mask down, we tell them to put it on. Um, if they're too close to people, we make sure they social distance. Uh, if we see people forming into large groups, um, we tell them to separate. Most productions opt for local crews, but there might not be enough of them to keep up with demand if the boom continues. Doyle says he hopes it will and a production can leave here and the product is quality, the experience has been quality, and you felt safe, I think that sells the province better than anything else. Cut it there, thank you very That's much. Cut. He's That's optimistic fair. that could create work long after the final scene has been shot. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Middle Sackville, Nova Scotia.